The Elvis impersonator, who was suspected of sending poison-laced letters to President Obama, a senator, and a judge, is now free to go. Charges against Paul Kevin Curtis of Mississippi have been dropped. I'm still waiting for an apology. I haven't got an apology from anyone yet, but I'm still waiting for them to say, we're so sorry. Curtis has written about various conspiracies, something he admits may have raised suspicions. But he says he was shocked to find himself being investigated. Just be going to check your mail and go make dinner for your children and Homeland Security and the FBI and Secret Service and uh, Capitol Police from Washington show up with machine guns. He also says he was completely unfamiliar with the poison ricin. When we got to the interrogation room and it did come up, the word, the term ricin. Tell us what you know about ricin. I said, uh, I, don't prefer, I don't even eat rice. Oh, unless I'm at a Chinese restaurant, that's the only thing. And, and I'm like, I don't, it's not in my home, I don't cook rice, I don't really even like it. And they go, you know what we mean, ricin, poisoning, like anthrax. Law enforcement officers searched the home of another Mississippi man on Tuesday, but no charges were filed against the homeowner. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.